Aloha, Dr. Borowski. I wanted to congratulate you on your retirement and this important rite of passage. I also wanted to extend my mahalo for really a lifetime of teachings that really originated in my first Anthropology 101 class. Anthropology for me is so important. I remember people asking me, well, what are you gonna do with a career in anthropology? And why are you choosing that as your major? And really at its core for me, anthropology has taught me the importance of empathy and human connection. And it's been something that I've taken with me on my travels all over the world. It's something that sparked my interest in social inequalities. It's something that led me to take a course in medical anthropology at University of Hawaii, where I read about one of my heroes, Paul Farmer, and to whom I got to meet when I was in the field on a site visit with my mom in Malawi. So I just wanna say that I feel as humanity, we're more alike than different. And while I've always sought to understand the differences, I also try to find common ground. And this is what has helped me in my community advocacy and activism. It's what helps me to problem solve. It's what helps us to do our international development work. And um, I just wanna say that the lessons that I learned 20 some years ago are so relevant and so important to the person that I am today and the work that I do. And you were the teacher that inspired me to pursue that path. I also wanna mahalo you for giving me the opportunity to be one of your teaching assistants and helping other fellow students with their ethnographies. I don't know if you had realized it at the time, but that for me was pivotal in my leadership skills. And um, I learned a lot from the students, but I also learned that I had the capability to help them and to open up some of the ideas that you had taught us. And it was very, very empowering for me to do that. And I continued to kind of mentor and help young people throughout my career. So I was so happy to have that opportunity uh, with you at the downtown HPU campus. And um, it's just been wonderful for me. It instilled a lot of confidence. But anyway, congratulations. I can't believe that you're actually retiring. I would have loved to take another class. <laughs> I still remember my favorite books were Nisa and the Forest People. And um, I hope that whatever you choose to pursue in life now, you do it fully. And I know you'll do it with much joy. And I also thank you for coming to my community meetings. It's been wonderful how things have come full circle and how everything that I've learned has brought me back home and brought me back to my roots. And so thank you so much for being not just a teacher, but a mentor and for lighting that fire in me to really pursue my mission of helping humanity. Thank you so much. I love you.